Hello everybody, Tom British here from Big Sky Internet Design, Worldwide Headquarters, and Recording Studios now. Today we're going to be talking about updating websites and why it's important. So think of it this way. You go to a website and you go look for a stallion, for example, and you see a stud fee from, oh, I don't know, I'll say 2015. Would you go any further in that website and expect any other information to be correct? Yeah, not hardly. I know I don't. Or if you go there, look for a horse that's for sale and come to find out the horse is sold or maybe it's even died. Yeah, it happens all the time. And so what happens is the, at that point you have no more confidence that the rest of the information on the website is going to be useful to you, so you leave. And that's just kind of the way that plays out. You know, a lot of people use Facebook to try to update their statuses of their businesses, you know, horses and, and so forth or events. And while that does work for your followers and whoever you may share that with, there's going to be a ton of people that that is not going to catch where your website will. And of course, websites and Facebook, and we've talked about this before in some of these blog posts, very important they have to work together. And when you work them together, they're both very effective. And of course, there's Google. Google is kind of the 800-pound gorilla in the corner of the room. You know, everybody tries to please Google. And Google is very critical of what I call stale websites, websites that have not been updated recently. And it makes total sense. You know, if you're looking for something, say you're looking for a two-year-old or a two-year-old futurity prospect with a specific breeding, and so you type that into Google, and uh, all these listings that come up, you're totally expecting that Google is going to present you a list of websites with current information on it. And if it's not current, you don't understand what, what Google's doing. So Google definitely wants your website to be updated. That's the only way you're going to get any type of ranking in Google, which is hard enough as it is. So why don't people update their websites very much? Well, there's a few, a few reasons. Um, first off, if they are in charge of doing it themselves, sometimes it can be challenging. And if they don't do it very often, every time they go in there to do it, they got to remember the username and password, they got to remember what to do, how to format it, go check it, make sure it looks okay, and all these things. Or they send it off to the web person and hope that they get it done sometime, who knows when, and then they have to wait for the bill to come to see what that's going to cost. And then there's other website owners who are just flat out lazy. They build the website, expect great things to happen, but then they don't update it. And then nothing happens, and then they don't understand that. And if that's the case, you know, there really isn't a reason to have that website. So years ago, when we were trying to figure out the best way to work out pricing and these types of things and services for our customers, we decided that rather than nickel and diming them for every update, we would just do one flat, either monthly or annual rate that covered unlimited updates. Yeah, that's right, with our customers, you don't get charged for updates unless it's something extraordinary. And um, and it's great. Customers love it. They know exactly what their bill is going to be every month or once a year. And they get unlimited updates throughout the course of the year. And not only that, our updates are completed within 24 hours or less. A lot of t Most of the time, the same day, quite frankly. That's as simple as it is. And, of course, some of our customers, too, they... I want to update stuff themselves and so they can go in there and update you know horses for sale uh, maybe calendar events galleries these types of things but the bottom line is it's very important to keep that website updated and if you're not going to bother to update it then there really isn't a whole lot of point in keeping that website at all so that's it for today thank you so much for watching if you have any questions at all website related questions feel free to ask uh, customer of ours or not be more than happy to help thanks so much